Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today I'm going to be showing you a little feature I discovered that I didn't see in the patch notes. I haven't seen anyone mention this um, from the recent update because now we are in update 27 of course. So if we just have a look here, update 27.0.4. And yeah, I didn't see this in the update notes anywhere, but there's just one little thing I noticed when I was just setting up my previous video, and that is, I could see the asteroid objects just chilling, like even with the label switched off, I could see the asteroids going around the sun, and that's a feature that wasn't, I don't remember seeing that in any previous version of the game, but then I turned off all the orbits and labels, and I noticed that every single object in the simulation, you can see Uranus over there for instance, every single object is now visible no matter how far you zoom out. So I mean if we zoom all the way out, I mean obviously that's too far, but I mean even if you're at extreme distance like this, you can still see all of the objects are going around the star even if you've got labels and orbits and stuff switched off, which this, wasn't def this definitely wasn't in the game in the previous updates, so this was added recently. And yeah, look at that, you can see it all going around, I mean look how good that is, I mean if we zoom into the sun, I mean, oh, let's just slow things down. So let's just slow all the stuff down. So you can see there's Mercury. You can see Venus is very, very bright because obviously I've got my modded one in here, so it's very reflective. So Venus is sort of standing up to its name as the brightest object in the night sky in theory now. So you can see Venus very reflective. We look around elsewhere. Uh, let's see what else we can spot. We can see um, one of the asteroid belt objects there. We can see Hygieia as well. Uh, we've got something over there. That's one of the dwarf objects. That's Orcus. We've got Mercury going past again, obviously very fast. Uh, looks like we've got Dust Storm, Mars over there. We've got Earth as well, Earth and Mars. So look at that. I mean, also if we go to Earth itself now, we can have a look around and we can see Mars in the distance, which is really, really cool because that was this feature was definitely not in the previous version of the game. Normally, once you got far away enough, the objects would just vanish and you wouldn't be able to see them. But now if we look around, we should be able to spot uh, whereabouts it was. We'll put labels back on. So there we go, Dust Storm, Mars, and you can see it. Like you can see it properly. Obviously, we. Yeah, I just messed it up by going that fast. But let's see uh, what else we can spot as we go into the night time now. So we can see Sedna over there. You can see Venus, a very bright object there. Uh, we can see Neptune, Jupiter. Obviously, they're all lined up at the moment. So Neptune and Jupiter looking good. We can see Juno, one of the other little asteroid objects. Uh, anything else in the night sky? We can see Ceres over there. Hygieia again. Chiron. Uh, there's Mars. Planet 9 as well. Even though Planet 9 doesn't get any starlight, it still shows up in the night sky, which is awesome. So there it is. I want to see where Venus is again. Venus should be a really, really bright object. So we need to wait for Venus to come around again. Whereabouts are we? So we can see Uranus as well in the night sky. Pluto, Uranus, uh, Mercury as well um, is visible currently over there. So there's Uranus again. Let's turn that off. Let's all see. We're going to get sunrise again with the sun. There's Venus. Okay, so Venus in the daytime roughly. But you can see Venus is fairly bright, which is looking good. Well, see, it does. I think it does sort of stand out when it was in the night. You can still see there it is. Can't go. Let's go to the night. I'm in the nice blue sky on Earth now. Obviously, you're in the daytime. Really, really cool. That was obviously a feature added quite a while back as well. Looking good. Right, so where are we? So, Venus. Let's put labels on again. So, there's Venus. Okay, so now we're going to the dark side. Obviously, the sun is setting. So, right about here, there's a good view of Venus. So, you can see... Yeah, it, it is appearing. You can definitely... It's definitely noticeable. It's brighter than, like, the background stars, which I think is really cool. You can see Sedna as well. Looking good. I mean, yeah, I think that is really, really cool. And it's just a little feature that I just noticed. I didn't even know, I didn't know it existed. I hadn't seen anyone mention this prior. But yeah, you can now spot all the objects just no matter how far away you are, which is really, really, really cool. So it's just a nice little feature I wanted to share with you guys. What are your thoughts on this? Because I think that is a really, really cool thing. Because there was a way to do it before. Um, if I go, it was into tools. If you went into this, uh, open this up, and then I think it was in view settings. If you put icons on, this used to make it work as well. So if we look around now... Uh, icons? Uh, where are you? Uh, no? Come on, where, where are the icons? They should be showing up. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. So, icons, look. So, you can see they, uh, now, the icons used to do this. So, you turn them up, and then you could see where the planets were really, really easily. So, you can see Uranus, Neptune over there, Pluto. So, yeah, it's almost like they've added the icons, but to a less extent. So, they actually show up quite realistic looking now. Because obviously the icons are a little too extreme when you switch those on as they are really, really, really bright. Um, but yeah, they look they look pretty cool as well, the icons. But yeah, that's a feature that's been in the game for a long time now, the icons. But 
Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. You Even with the icons switched off, you can now spot where the planets are. And you can sort of make out the colours on them as well. You can see Uranus and Neptune are more bluish colours. If we zoom in again, you can see that Venus and Mars are more like orangey yellow colours. Obviously, the Earth as well. You can see it's like a lighter sort of bluish shade, which is really, really cool. Mercury, obviously, grey. I think that's a really, really cool addition that you can see all these now. I mean, that is... Honestly, it's really, really cool. And yeah, I had no idea this was added into the game. Like, th I didn't see any mention of it in the patch notes. Maybe I missed it because I'm blind. But I did see no notice of this in the patch notes whatsoever. So I think that's a really, really cool addition. You can now spot where the planets are. I mean, let's go to um, let's go to the outer edges of the system. Let's go to Neptune. And let's have a look back on the inner solar system from Neptune's distance. So here it is, looking good as always. So if we look back towards the inner solar system now. So what, what exactly can we see here? So obviously if we click play... Obviously, they're all going to move. We can see one there. That is Venus. So you can see Venus is considerably more visible than the other one. So let's just land on the upper cloud layers of Neptune here. Uh, looking good as always. Oh, it's such a beautiful... Look at it all go. Yeah, that's cool. So let's just slow it down. But look at all that. You didn't. That didn't used to be... I don't remember gas giants looking like this when you landed on them. Look at that. Maybe that's another new feature. That's the second new feature then. Because I, I think... I think... I don't remember this being... I know it's a mega banded object, so it is modded. But I don't remember this being visible before when landing on gas giants we'll have to have a look in the default simulation to confirm that because maybe it's just it being a modded one but yeah okay where are we? so look in the sky okay so my guess is venus is the brightest one yes it is that is cool so with the modded venus it now makes it the brightest in the night sky other than the sun yeah venus is considerably brighter than the other ones there so what else we've got we've got saturn over there uh let's see if we can spot uranus jupiter as well uh earth you can see earth where, where's Uranus? Labels. Got Pluto over there in the distance. I don't see... Oh, there's Uranus. Okay, so Uranus is up here. So you can see the other ice giant object. Obviously very far away from the sun as well. That is really cool. So dust star, Mars, Earth, Venus. Mercury lost in the glare of the sun, which makes sense. Because it's that far away. So yeah, no, Mercury. Can't spot it. Literally cannot spot Mercury. Too, too close to the sun. So yeah, that is really, really cool. Got Iris over there, but yeah... That's really, really cool. That isn't, yeah, that was never available before. So, there we go. But let's have a little comparison between that and the uh, labels again. And let's have a little, just have a little peek. So, of the icons. So, the icons don't make any difference in this current view. So, that's, that is really, really cool how that is added in here. Again, though, that is, uh, I had no idea this was added either. Let's just turn the brightness up a bit. Yeah, look at that. I don't remember this being a thing before when we landed on gas giants, but we'll have to check. But yeah, that is cool. We'll have to land on all the gas giants now, actually. So let's go to uh, Uranus. So there's Neptune's upper cloud. Uh, Uranus over here. So how are we doing? So again, let's try it on Uranus's clouds. Whereabouts should we land? There's a sun over there. Let's just land somewhere here, I guess. So Uranus, I'm guessing, uh, also. Oh, yeah, look at Uranus as well. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I Honestly, I do not remember this. At all in the older versions. But I didn't land on gas giants much. But I do not remember seeing this um, whatsoever. So that is really cool. Uh, Saturn. Again, let's try it with you. Uh, where, where Saturn? Saturn. There we go. Over here. Okay. So Saturn as well. Maybe we could land in the blue area at the top as well. Where it mixes. So how are we looking over here? Again, Saturn as well. Zoom all the way down. Yep. So Saturn's got all of the cool looking bands and stuff going on as well. Let's land on the different area. So I'll get the normal sort of satin shade. But yeah, that's that's cool. Didn't know this was uh, available to see either. So that's a really, really cool addition. Don't know if it was added in the recent update. But I don't remember it being this detailed when we landed on stuff. Um, but maybe it is because it's modded. But we can still have a quick peek at Jupiter as well. So again, we're low there. Right. Red spot. I guess we can try and land near the red spot just for fun. Okay. So where is the red spot? There it is. You can see the red spot there. That's cool. So obviously if we land down on Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter's got loads of it as well. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. So there we are. Okay. Right. So now let's try this in a normal simulation just to prove it's not my modded solar system being weird and all these objects do actually glow and stuff like this. So again, if we look, you can see all the planets. And obviously if you speed the simulation up as well, you can watch them all go around the sun. So let's do this. And there you go. Look at that. And the labels aren't on. No labels are on. You can literally just see it all without clicking on anything. Look how cool that is. So again, you can see Venus there, the very the brightest one by miles. Yeah, that is really really cool. So let's do this in a normal simulation now. So let's just go to the bog standard solar system simulation. Again, we'll put all of the. We'll switch all of the stuff off. 
Um, we'll put the background as just dark so we can see everything properly. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's just do that. Okay, cool. Delete the asteroid belt. Okay, and there you go. You can see again. Obviously, Venus isn't as bright now because it's not modded, but you can still see all of the planets. All of the objects still show up like they did in the other simulation, which is really, really cool. See, Uranus and Neptune have got their bluish shades as well. But yeah, that wasn't... That was definitely not in the previous version of the game. So I think it's really, really cool how these are now added into the game. So let's just see if Neptune does it. Let's just see if this Neptune does it. The bog standard Neptune. So does this one have... Uh, can you see the cloud bands and stuff on here? Let's have a little look down. Also, we need to turn the brightness up. But maybe it's just because the modded ones have so much detail. Maybe that's why they do it. But let's just see if this normal one does it as well. Yeah, it doesn't look as detailed. So I think it's just the modded ones being really, really cool in that regard. So click play. No, not, I mean, you can see it move. Yeah, you can see a bit of stuff. I think, I'm not sure if that's new feature or not, to be honest, but yeah, looking good. I mean, obviously, we can zoom all the way down. I mean, maybe we need to slow things down a bit. Maybe it's going a little too fast, but yeah, also, because there's not as much detail on this Neptune, you can't see all the cool bands and stuff as much, but yeah, it does all move and stuff still, so yeah, there we go, but I think it's just the modded objects that we're doing that. It's not anything uh, specially added to the game, but yeah, the main thing here is how you can now see the planets without having the labels or, or the uh, orbits or anything. You can still see where they are and see them all move around, which is really, really, really cool. But there you go. So, obviously, we're following Neptune at the moment. You see Uranus over there. But you now can sort of pinpoint where everything is. I'm guessing that's Saturn. Yep. Jupiter, I think, is that one. Yep, there's Jupiter. So, you can see all the outer system. That is really, really cool. And look, no matter how far away you zoom out, I mean, until, obviously, everything gets too close together. But, I mean, at this sort of distance... You can still see everything, which is really cool, because in the old versions, they would just vanish, and you, the only thing you'd be able to see is the sun. So I think that's a really, really cool little addition. And yeah, like I said, I didn't see any mention of this in, in the patch notes or anything, so maybe it's just a feature I didn't see. I don't know if anyone else has seen this, but yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you've seen this little addition as well, because I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this wasn't available in the previous update 26. This definitely seems to be something that was added in update 27 very recently. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you think on this. Really, really cool little addition, I think. But with that all said and done, a massive thank you for watching today's video. And if you liked it, let's even go for 40 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. And with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.